Welcome everyone. You're here for your uh, acrylic painting tip. Uh, this time I want to talk to you about um, my mixing white. I have um, I use a mixing white in order to uh, make my, all my, my tints. So I use a white, I add that to my colours to make a tint and I use a, a, a black to make a shade. Well, I want to show you this week um, how I make my mixing white. I don't just use uh, the normal white, I actually have a mixing white and there's a reason for that. So, so on my palette, I've got uh, just my normal uh, titanium white. It, it sits there as part of my, my colours. And um, my mixing white is also titanium white. It's exactly the same uh, white that I've squeezed out on my, my palette uh, for use as a, as a colour, as a tint. Uh, but I now, I now mix up a, a mixing white. And how I do that is I squeeze out a sausage of white and, um, and then in order to make that or in order to turn that into my mixing white what I do is I add uh, some retarder to it. Now this is uh, super retarder and it's, um, it's a super retarder made by Schmenker and it's a, a very thick retarder compared to other retarders that I've used. This is gel like and what I do is I squeeze out some of that and again around about a, a similar uh, sausage width but what I do is I, I mix that uh, in a two to one ratio. So there's two parts paint to one part of the retarder. Now I, I get a, an, old, an old brush, just a, a, a mixing brush, and, and I mix those two together. So I'm mixing the paint and the retarder together. Now what happens at first is it's, it nearly curdles um, and it, um, you think, oh no, I've, I've just wrecked it. But you just keep stirring that in and the retarder uh, gets mixed in with the, the white. Now, when, it, when it's um, all mixed in, you'll see that it comes back to being a really thick, beautiful, luscious, buttery white. And you can see it peaking there. Look at it. Beautiful. So I take some of that, clean off my brush. So now what I can do is mix up some of my tints. So if I wanted to make a, an orange, for example, I would take some of my mixing white, and a little bit of yellow and mix that in with the, the mixing white. And then I take a little bit of the red and I put that in. Again, mix those two together and I get a, a lovely, beautiful orange. Now, that orange will stay usable for a lot longer now because it's now got um, some retarder in it. So let's uh, mix up a, a lovely pink Again, it's got some of the retarder in it. So now I take, and I want to make a, now I want to make a sky blue. I take some of the retarder, bring it over, and then I add some phthalo blue to that and turn it into a gorgeous sky blue. I want to make a cool purple, so I'm going to add some of the um, magenta and phthalo blue together. And again, some of my mixing white. And I just made a, a lovely, beautiful tint of, of a cool purple. Um, my warm purple is my warm red with mixing white and then ultramarine blue, my warm blue. And I mix that in together and I get a, a lovely warm purple. Alright, so those, those mixes now are, are ready to go. And you can see that the, the very first mix that I did, which was the orange, is still able, is still able to be picked up and you can see the, the bead of paint that's on my brush there. Now I take that bead and I put it on my canvas, wherever I need it to go. And that stays usable or, or moist for, for, for hours. That, um, that, in addition to a spray bottle, which has got a, uh, a small amount of retarder in it, a 10 to 1 ratio of retarder in that, that, with the mixing white, will keep my mixes usable or open for hours. And the reason that, that it's a huge advantage when painting in acrylics is that um, what I found very frustrating when I first started painting acrylics was that mix it, my mixes were drying so fast. And now with the mixing white, uh, with the spray bottle with the retarder in it, I can keep my mixes open for hours. And it just helps me retain that beautiful uh, oil-like finish to my work. And really that comes down to uh, nice soft edges. It's really easy to get a hard uh, line or a hard edge when using acrylics, but it's really quite difficult to get, to get a soft edge or a lost edge uh, when using acrylics. 
It's a lot easier to get a lost edge or a, or a uh, soft edge when using oils. And I want my paintings to look like an oil like at the end. So um, using retarder, the mixing white in with the retarder and the retarder in with my spray roll uh, just helps me keep my mixes usable for a longer period of time. So um, that's your, your tip for this time. Um, please, uh, if, you, if you like what I do, please come and visit our website. Um, on the website, uh, I've got uh, uh, my DVD and it's called My Acrylic Method. Um, which, which takes you through my painting process from the very beginning to the very end, so from concept all the way through to varnishing. Um, our website is uh, www.mccanfineart.net.au um, And until next time, please keep your brushes wet and uh, have fun painting. Bye-bye.